What's up, what's up guys? Good morning, actually I'm coming live from my village. I guess you're seeing the title of this video and you're like, Maro, why are you confused, man? The thing is, uh, I'm really, really confused if I should keep building this beautiful house or this big mansion or uh, I should travel, you know? All I need is you, baby, baby. Okay, for those guys who are new here, my name is Maro. Welcome to this YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to the channel. I'm coming live from my construction site. I, actually, not really my construction site. My next home. Yeah, that's how I should say. It's really mega big. We've done a lot of stuff. Even right now, I'm trying to rear some uh, poultry. You know, some birds I'll be showing you. Yeah, the thing is, we've done a lot of uh, great construction here, you can tell very big and major mega also so i'm really confused if i should start traveling and pause this construction right here but uh that is after we remove this uh, these posts okay the posts you see here we're gonna be removing them in the next 10 days okay so i'm wondering if uh, i should uh, travel after we remove this and then come do the next phase of the house later. Uh, one thing is, uh, I have the money, but it's not really enough for me to put the next phase. So I need to spend a few months or uh, yeah, some time, a little bit, for me to have enough money to do the other part. Actually, I need like uh, 20,000 US dollars. And remember, we've pulled this house from, from the ground, you can tell. Yeah, and uh, it has eaten, eaten in quote, a lot of money that I had saved and uh, enough. And I'm not saying like I'm, I'm like, uh, you know, in life you have just like to push yourself, push the limits. Don't put yourself into like, like, uh, how can I call this, a baseline, like I can't cross this line. For example, this is the foundation of the house, you can tell, it's crazy, man. The entire this part you see here, this is the foundation, the house starts from here. So the foundation itself of this house was crazy and mega. So the thing is, I'm really, 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 really confused if I should actually keep building this house, okay? Or I should start traveling. And I think if I'm traveling, I'll travel in like three African countries, okay? And then around August, I should start finishing up this house, not really finishing up, doing the other face of the house. Actually, the mega thing that is remaining now, after removing these posts here, before this month ends, will be putting the roof of this house. And the roof of this house is also a concrete, it's like this. So I need to look for uh, everything, from metals to a ballast to sand, to everything look where i'm walking i just crossed here okay and i'm very very lucky because what has happened is uh it's been raining a lot look how the water is flowing into my house look right here also oh man see this yes the water is flowing like a river actually i intend like in the future the entire house will be surrounded by water yeah this water here i'll look for a way to create it that it will be part of the house like it will be really amazing the entire house is surrounded by water what do you think about that the front side we shall put a swimming pool and this back side we shall put this natural water flowing like this and also we shall have those type of uh, sounds you know of the water you hear yes so yeah i know you guys many of you have watched me build this house from scratch it's really amazing and i think even one day i'll sit down and put a completion of a video from the start from me saying this is the land i'll be building a house to the foundation to where it is yes but uh the big question i'm having today is should i keep building this house or i should travel a little bit then come back and put the other slab i think maybe before december yeah before december or before the end of the year for sure we shall have the upper slab you know i'll be traveling as i try to manage my resources knowing hey you know i have a big project at home it's big it's huge the house is big 
and uh, this is where we are. We actually am very, very proud of where we are. Even right now, I can say I have a house. If anything goes the other way, we can still stay, live under under this under this concrete. It's a huge space and house right there. And you can tell we did a very good work, you see. Super mega, yes. So, life in the village has been great. And, oh, I love this tree, man. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and if we build another slab, okay, so this will be, hey, wow. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, it's been so long since I traveled. Actually, not so long. Uh, the last time I was in a different country was uh, February this year. And this is April and I'm complaining. But you know, I'm always a full-time traveler. I'm always traveling around the world. I've been to close to 40 countries, close or past 40 countries around there, and five continents. And also, you know, that blood of just being a traveler. You always like new destinations, booking new flights. But at the same time, you know, also right now traveling is kind of very crazy because uh, of this COVID. Like we have to get COVID tests and many countries are under lockdown and everything. Life is not really the same as it used to be. So that's why I'm really confused. Should I stay at home and keep building my village slowly? Or uh, or you guys, which type of content would you like to see? Do you, would you like to see like travel content or more village and construction? Yes, just let me know. Just let me know. And also I want to say thank you so much for everybody who always supports me. It's really amazing sometimes. And even sometimes me engaging you in conversations like this of should I travel or should I keep building this house? Yeah. So you guys let me know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But anyway, uh, it's a beautiful morning from East Africa, Kenya. We are chilled here. Everything nice. But it's so sad because I lost one of my dogs, man. Yeah. And it was super pregnant. Oh, like actually a week it would have given birth. I don't know what happened to it. Either somebody hit it on, in the stomach or they gave it some poison. Yes, the whole of yesterday, I was trying to feed it with some milk because you know, if uh, maybe somebody gave it poison, milk would have tried to detoxify, okay? Intoxify, I don't know. Is it detoxify or intoxify? No, detoxify actually. Uh, so it's crazy but today I woke up in the morning and my dad told me he found the dog dead and the funny thing about dogs actually in Africa is we don't keep them that much close to the family as as maybe other places I've been to let's say Mexico or Colombia or the US here dogs are always sleeping outside like they stay off the house outside the house but you know in other countries dogs are always like with you cuddling them in your bed so here no so it's a sad story but at the same time it lived a long life it had it has even grandkids yes even at home right now the dogs you see there they are grandkids of that dog yes <laughs> This is where we are guys, we really tried, maybe you are new in the channel, it's your first day here, my name is Mara, I'm building this mega house in a small village in East Africa, Kenya, okay, and now I've been here I think close to two months now, two, close to three months, and I'm a full time traveler, and for that reason I'm like, man, should I keep chasing this dream here, or uh, should I actually travel? That's why I'm asking you guys to... Actually, I'll be reading your comment section. I'll be reading the, your comments in the comment section here. And those comments will have a lot of significance in my decision. So, kindly, kindly, guys, advise me. Write me the whole paragraph. I'll take my time and read and get to know. Yes, I'm really, really confused. Yes. There's this plane. There's a plane here which has been passing in my home. It passes like maybe 50 times a day. It's right there. 
Even we always wonder. And remember, it's right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. Right there. It's right there. Okay. That plane has been passing here over 20 times a day. And remember the other side, just two kilometers, that, not even two kilometers, one kilometers and a half is Tanzania. So we are actually at the border of Kenya and Tanzania. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, I think that will be the end of the video. It was a short video, just trying to engage you guys and try to ask you, should I travel or should I keep building the house? And if I keep building the houses, I don't have enough money to put the slab. So I have to, like, keep... Maybe the, 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 the construction will be very slow. And if I'm traveling, which countries should I go first? Yes. Which country should I visit first? And let me know if actually your home country is open so that at least I get to have some choices, you know. Anyway, guys, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, I'll show you my pigeons. They're right there. Uh, let me take you, let me take you, let me take you, let me take you, okay? I'm going to take you to my pigeons. Yeah, we build a big house the way you see it. It's mega, massive. Man. I already feel like we did a mega step. <laughs> wow. I think even after removing this, these uh, posts, I'll bring some electricity inside here so I can have electricity. So we can put some lights on and <laughs> yeah. Let me show you. I have some pigeons here. Oh man. Let me see. I, I think my mom is also inside there. So I'm having my pigeons here. Look. Hey, mom. Everett, you are wonderful. Why? <laughs> I'm happy to see how you have worked on these birds. Yeah, you see? Hey. Yeah, that's my mom. Say hello, mom. Hello, subscribers. Yes. How are you? So we have pigeons today, you can see, very many already, and you see how we are putting, we are putting more and more and more, you see, so it's really amazing, yes, and my mom is also here, but uh, that will be a video for another day for now, goodbye guys, and I'll see you in my next video, ciao, ciao. Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. So I'm officially saying goodbye to Japan. As you see, sir, welcome to Japan. Where is Elisa? Soy de España. I'm heading to.